Welcome back everyone. Let's do a little reading today. are fantastic here. It was published by Random House. Wow, 1984. It was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebirds were singing the trout was leaping, and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside the family treehouse fixing brother and sister Bear's after-school snack. That's so sweet of Mama. They got a nice house, too. Brother and sister got off the school bus, came into the kitchen with hardly a hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and switched on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching, too watch TV. Later, when Papa came from his shop and joined brother and sister, Mama became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole bear family is watching too much TV. She wasn't quite sure how it happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy picture black and white set broke down and they got a big new color set. Or maybe it started when Papa put the big antenna on top of the treehouse and brought in pictures from all over Bear Country. But however it happened, one thing was sure. The Bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table. But not lately. Lately they just sat around and chewed. The cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy watching Nutty Bear and the Bear Stooges. That looked like rerun, and I guess that's the Three Stooges. That evening 
after dinner when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said her piece. We've been watching all together too much television around here. But Mama, brother said, Nutty Bear is coming on and we'll miss it. And the bear stooge is at it, sister. Well, you'll just have to miss them, Mama. Mom said Mama firmly. Look at that. Mama even got her hand on her hip, y'all. You know she ain't playing. And furthermore, she added, you may, you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for a whole week. No TV for a week, said the shocked cubs. But Mama, never mind the butts, said Papa. Your mother is absolutely right. There's a lot more to life than TV, like homework, for instance, and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch. Just a moment, Papa, said Mama. No TV for a week means you too. What? Said Papa. You can't be serious. But Mama was very serious. What about the news? Protested Papa. I won't know what's going on in the world and I don't watch the TV. If I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, Mama said. It's called the newspaper. And the weather, Papa continued. How will we know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. Ooh. What are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk, asked Brother. That'll be fine for starters, said Mama, settling comfortably into her rocker. But it had been so long since Papa Bear sat down and talked that they forgot, but they had, they had sort of forgotten how. It really didn't matter because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored loudly. And they wouldn't have hurt each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out of the out to play. Brother's bike had a tire that needed pumping, and Sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange, not watching television. It was fun riding bikes and trikes again. Sort of. That evening, the cubs worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring. Then sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper. An ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said. Look, a special. No TV for a week means no TV for a week, answered Mama. And besides, Mother Nature has a much bigger special waiting for us. We're going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. Watch the stars come out, complained Sister. I don't know if I can stand the excitement, said Brother. Bats and everything. That's lovely. But as they sat under the great sky, a spell came over the cubs. It was all so big and beautiful. The bears stared at the sky. So far, not a single star. Look, 
cried sister. Something flying. Bats, said Papa. Out for their breakfast of insects. Breakfast, asked brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bats sleep during the day. So this is their breakfast time. I see a star, cried sister. She had found the first tiny star. Soon there were others, and after a while, a whole sky was full of stars. And it was very special, more special than anything they'd ever seen on TV. It was a sharper picture, too, and much, much, much bigger screen. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days. So interesting that they hardly thought about TV. They went on a nature walk and watched tadpoles hatch out of eggs. They watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. They went shopping at the Bear Country Mall. Sister used some of her savings to buy a knitting spool and some yarn. Brother bought a cute puzzle. They did have to keep the eye on Papa, though. Papa being sneaky, y'all. When they were at the mall, the cubs caught Papa in the TV snore sneaking a look at the game show. Another time, he went downstairs in the middle of the night for the peek at the late night movie. But Mama and the cubs stopped him just in time. Late night movie. Come on, Papa. The next evening, it was the last day of their no TV week. The Bear family was having a lively conversation at the dinner table. They all agreed that the week had been a success, but Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama. I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit. Sitting in front of it day after day, like old stumps waiting to dry rot to set in. Well, said her brother, tomorrow I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. <laughs> Me too, said sister. Me too, said papa. But the only one who did watch all day was papa. Brother got interested in his cute puzzle and finally solved it. Sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. Finally, even papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple of leaping trout. That was fun. So this was in 1984. So a lot of us don't sit in front of the TV now, but we do just sit on our phones now. So I guess some of this can be applied today. Even though you probably can't go a week without using your phone. <laughs> but you get the idea. Well, thank you for uh, spending this time with me with this reading. Uh, hopefully we can get to read some of these other books. Um, they have a Berenstein Bears visit to the dentist. They go to the doctor moving day and the sitter yeah there's so many books of these um, so this one was too much TV thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one good night